If you're watching this video, you are excited about the potential value that AI can bring to your life, but you're feeling extremely burnt out by the AI hype cycle. My name is Marcel. I'm a software engineer with over seven years experience building and using AI tools. And in this video, I'm going to show you the two AI tools that you can use to create 99% of the value that you would get from any other AI tool. And there are startups receiving millions of dollars of funding, building these exact same workflows that I'm going to show you. We are going to create an audio transcription and summary service. This will replicate the same functionality of tools such as Otter AI and Zoom IQ. And the two tools that we will be using are OpenAI and Zapier. Okay, so we're gonna start with Zapier. Let's head to zapier.com and click create new Zap. Now I have created a Google Drive folder called audio with a single audio file in here. This is where you will place your audio recordings and have your Zapier pipeline run the transcription service that we're about to build on top of them. So we'll head to zapier.com, click create a new Zap, and the first thing we need to do is connect our Google Drive. We can see Google Drive is an option right here in our workflow, so we'll click that, and what we want to do is select new file in folder. We'll hit continue and you may need to sign into your Google Drive. Again, we'll hit continue and we're gonna choose our drive. Now for most people that will be my Google Drive, maybe you have a shared work drive, you can select that as well. And our folder will be audio. Again, that is the audio folder that we have created in our Google Drive. That means that only files uploaded to that folder will trigger this pipeline. We'll hit continue and now we can test our trigger. This is just gonna check that Google Drive is accessible by Zapier. And we can see, okay, it's found one folder in our Google Drive that we can use for our test. Great, we'll continue with selected record. The next thing we want to do is actually connect this file now to OpenAI so that we can transcribe this. We'll type in OpenAI in the search bar. And for our event, we're gonna choose create transcription. Now this says it is using Whisper. Whisper is a transcription model that takes audio and transcribes it into text and it's provided by OpenAI. And to tell you the truth, 90% of these audio transcription tools are actually just using Whisper anyway. So we've just completely negated the middleman. We'll hit continue and you'll need to sign into your OpenAI account. I've already connected mine, but you can hit change and you can connect a new account. Now you'll be presented with this screen and this is where most people get a little bit overwhelmed by these pipelines and probably give up. What is an API key? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's just click on the link. This is gonna open up the OpenAI page. You may have to log into your OpenAI account. And all you have to do is click create new secret key. The name isn't important. It's just so that you can remember. Now make sure that you copy this key. You'll only get one chance to copy it, but if you lose it, it's okay. You can just go in and create a new one. It doesn't matter. Hit done and we'll head back to Zapier and paste in our API key and hit continue. Now it's important, don't share this API key with other people. Don't put it on a YouTube video like I just did because people can take this key and use it to run transcriptions on your account on your bill. Side note, you have to set up billing in your OpenAI account for all of this to work and that will be separate to your billing for ChatGPT. But AI transcription costs only a few cents per minute of transcription, so it's not gonna cost a lot. We'll hit continue and we'll fill out the rest of our pipeline. First, we have to select our file. Open this drop down, and you'll see a bunch of different options here. The one we want is file. What this means is that for every file we upload to Google Drive, it will then be forwarded onto our OpenAI transcription service and OpenAI will transcribe the content of that audio file that you've uploaded. Now you can add a prompt for transcription, but in this case, we're just gonna leave that blank and our response format will be text. You can choose a different language other than English, but for this case, we'll just go with English. Now we can test our action and this is actually going to run our audio file through OpenAI's Whisper transcription and generate some text. So here you can see the output of our transcription. It's taken the audio file that I'd previously recorded and we now have some text extracted from that audio that we can work with. This alone is already a feature that AI companies will be charging you 10, 20, $30 a month just to run this and we've just done this in a few minutes and it's cost us less than a few cents. But now the magic happens of when we connect a large language model to the output of our transcription. Let's hit the plus button and we're gonna connect another step. 
This time, we'll select OpenAI again, but for our action, we're gonna choose Send Prompt. We'll hit Continue, we'll use the same account as we used previously, and now for our action, we're left with a few options to choose from. You can choose a different model by clicking the drop down and going to Model. There's tons of different options here. Chances are, if you don't know what they are, you don't need to use them. And in our case, we don't. Text DaVinci 3 is actually the model that we want to use. I'm going to write a very simple prompt. And this prompt reads, you are a transcription and meeting notes summary expert. I'm going to give you an audio transcription and you are going to summarize what the content is about and then provide a few key bullet points. The transcription is denoted by the triple quotes below. That last part is important because it's going to let the GPT model know that the audio transcription we're about to provide it is within the triple quotes. Now this is a basic prompt and you can customize this to whatever your use case is. If you need help building high quality prompts for your use case, then hit subscribe. The final step of this prompt is to insert the transcription that OpenAI has just generated for us. We can do that by selecting between the triple quotes and then going down to our transcription output where we can see the content is what the transcription has generated for us. Now we can see that our hello, this is the audio recording. This is the transcription that was created for us. And what's great is that this is unique every time this pipeline is run, which means that for every video file that goes through this pipeline, the input into this prompt is going to be different. The rest of these options for this pipeline aren't important. So we can hit continue and then click test action. Now this is taking the output of our transcription and sending it to OpenAI where a large language model is running our prompt on our transcription and this is fully automated. Okay, so we can see that OpenAI has taken our prompt and executed it perfectly. We've created a summary here of what the transcription is about. And then it's also generated some key bullet points from our transcription. So this is great. We now have a transcription, but sitting inside of Zapier, it's really not that much use to us. Wouldn't it be good if we could take the output of this transcription and then write it to a Google Doc so that we could see it directly in our drive right next to our audio file. Okay, so we'll hit the plus button. And our final thing that we need to do is create a Google Doc. And for our event, we'll choose create document from text. We'll hit continue. We can use our same Google account that we've already authenticated. For our document name, you can get creative, but we're just going to use the same as our audio title. So that means that whatever our audio file is called, our document will have the exact same name. Then for our document's content, all we want to do is take the output from GPT and put it straight into the document. So to do that, we select number three, send prompt in OpenAI. This is our prompt that we sent to OpenAI, which then gave us back our transcription. And if we scroll down, we'll see somewhere near the bottom that we have a response. And this is our summary and our bullet points. Finally, let's put these Google Docs in a specific folder. I've created a folder called transcriptions. We can select that and we can see that in our Google Drive, that just looks like a transcriptions folder here, which is empty right now. So we go back to our Zapier, we hit continue and we will test our action. And this takes the output of our GPT and writes it to a Google document. So now when we go into our transcriptions folder, we can see that we have a Google document with our GPT response directly inside the Google document. Now the formatting isn't pretty, this is very basic, but we can see that in less than five minutes, we've created a workflow that goes from audio file through AI tools back to a Google document. So without even leaving Google Drive and Google Docs, You've run an AI tool and you've got an output straight into a document. So the final step is we want to test our pipeline on a new audio file. We'll hit publish in Zapier, choose a name, hit publish. Now, just a quick note, if you've just created a Zapier account, it may take five to 10 minutes before your Zap actually publishes and starts running your audio files. But once this setup is done, then your audio files will process a lot quicker in future. Now that we've waited for our Zapier to publish and trigger our new audio file, we can see that it's created a new document for us here called Another Audio. Once we open that, we can see the output of our prompt directly in the document. Zapier now sees that we have uploaded a file and it's begun our pipeline. It's passed that file to OpenAI Whisper which is then passed the transcription to a GPT language model with our prompt, which has produced a summary of this transcription and some key bullet points. Finally, these bullet points are written to a Google Doc. So in less than five minutes, we have created an AI workflow 
that accomplishes the same thing as AI tools that you might have to pay up to $50 a month to use to do something so simple. If you want to see advanced use cases of just using OpenAI and Zapier, then you need to subscribe to the channel.